Well, y'all, we got our first breakdown of the year. Harbin's 2024, baby! Any guess? Want to take any guesses in the comments before the video start? Link down below. Feels like it's been forever since I... Look, there's a pilot right there spraying that crop for fung fungus, I believe. Hopefully. Um, hopefully it's not chemicals. It's only been a week for you guys. We had a few days to do other things because we got completely rained out. That last vlog you saw, we ran from the storm right around here. I pulled up the boss was right here waiting to pick us up in his pickup and I about ran him over. I was in 14th gear hauling butt. The storm was coming. We were getting pelted by rain. Had the auger up, had, had everything shut, ready to go. So this is the first time I've been back in the tractor since then and now I'm waiting for Zach. We have a big issue here that I haven't come across and oh my gosh, look at him. Ooh, there he goes. Everybody around here is used to that, but I can just never get used to that. It's so cool. Don't really know how it's gonna work yet, but I cannot uh, get in this mud because getting stuck in this mud, being full is terrifying. The last thing you wanna do as a grain cart operator is to get stuck in the mud while having multiple tons of grain in your bin. So, terrified of that. If I start slipping, I have auto assist. I believe it's called. I don't know things, guys. Uh, do not judge me for not knowing things. I'm just being open and honest here. And I don't know what it feels to get stuck, but I've seen pictures and videos of people up north and out here that have gotten stuck in the mud, and I don't want that. Okay, so I got full, okay? Part is all the way full. The deal is this little area is kind of a little bottom down in here and the ground's pretty soft from all this rain it's not as soft as i thought it would be over here but the plan is to stay dumping on this side because over there is supposed to be worse i'm staying on this little pivot road and that's going to be my path for this entire part of this field so that i don't encounter or any mud so we're gonna try and pray to God that I don't even have to look at or encounter any mud today so let's see what Zach has to say about that well we're back at it didn't think we were gonna be able to cut today and honestly it is uh, very borderline to being too wet but there's another chance for some pretty big storms tonight and we're just we're kind of at that point where it doesn't really matter on the conditions if the grain is dry we kind of got to go that is a little bit delicate for us because we rely so much on this wheat stubble for next year for cover for our corn crop. Because on this side of the farm, I think I've mentioned before, we do all rotations. Everything that's wheat will be corn next year. Everything that's corn this year will be wheat next year or this fall. And we rely super heavy on this wheat stubble. It works really good for a wheat suppressant, for a wind barrier for when the corn's real small and it holds a lot of moisture. We don't want to come in here and just rut this place up because for corn next year, we can't come in here and work all of this. Then we'll kind of defeat the purpose of having wheat on everything. So it's kind of a delicate situation. We uh, have got to get this dang wheat out of here. It's caught a lot of rain on it since it's been ripe. But we've also got to think about our corn crop for next year. So it's just, it's tough. We've definitely lost some test weight. We've lost some yield. I mean, that's just part of it. That's what happens when it rains. Uh, on wheat a lot. We're catching all these rains for our corn, which is super important. So the pros do outweigh the cons. Kind of the update, we're back rolling. It is, what is today? I don't even know. I think it's like the 7th of July. Normally we would be finished wheat harvest by now, but being that we're not, that means we've caught rain and that is a great thing, regardless of the situation. Rain here is just great. Hopefully we can knock out some acres and see what tonight brings. I don't know if we'll get stormed on or not, but either way, I guess there's pros to both. Good to go. All right, y'all, I'm not out of the woods yet, but if you can see behind me, there's a big steep ditch. So it's either hit the truck or get stuck in the ditch. And I'm scared. I'm trying to hurry, because right after I get this done, I need to, ooh, what is that? I need to slowly make my way back over to Zach, because he's probably full by now. Let's open that gate up all the way. Get this thing empty. I need to turn around not here this looks not good I'm not going in there I'm thinking that this is the patch that he's talking
talking about. When you get up there, just hang right to the right and just okay. crank it and turn around. Okay. showed you where I thought I could maybe turn around. I could turn around there. It just looked like a river was running through there and I can't tell when sand is deceivingly wet underneath the surface. I'm just not good at telling and it looks kind of sandy in this area. So, you know, I lived on the river for many years at my dad's in Texas and I think that it's like quicksand. It looks dry on the top and then you step on it and it's just soft. But there's also a big difference between a loaded grain cart and an empty one so I'm just learning and I'm glad I'm learning this way because I'm not seeing much mud um, but I'm cautious of it and I'm aware of it so we're doing good we're doing good well we got into a groove and Zach just freaked me out he got on the radio and said to come dump him and we're done for the day so I'm kind of scared of what's going on stop the combine bad if he completely stopped and sent all of the trucks home. Zach is a very big MacGyvering man and he likes to fix things on the fly to get the job done and you know make it happen and find out what's wrong. Uh, he said something about that big main center belt on the header is uh, broken maybe. The, one of the bearings went out in it. Let's go check it out and see why we had to stop cutting wheat the whole day. It's definitely in the front of the header because that's where he's been. Well, what's going on? Problems. What? What is that? Is that a bearing? Spare parts now. What the heck? Is it broke on the edge like that? I know what's wrong that with it. Or is inside? They got no <laughs> gas in it. <laughs> Go right here. Okay. Up in here. See how that's up down here? It's supposed to be up here. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> no, this goes in here. Okay. Like so. And there's, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a bearing. It goes in like that, which then goes in here, and that's what tensions it. And the old bearing just said, See, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> the old bearing said goodbye to okay, the Okay, goodbye. Oh, this is a super common thing for Draper heads in general. Why is that? Because of all. Just the these these little bearings just spin so fast and okay well what happened how did you what like how did it happen like the center draper just, just quit turning was it covered in wheat and you couldn't see it yeah, yeah. i noticed i was I going think, like five and a half oh my god so there was a mountain of wheat i saw it but i i didn't know if that was right or not so i didn't say anything i just assumed i might need your help to get this cylinder or this shaft out of here okay I guess he's talking to the parts guy. He's trying to figure that out. It's not like he's worked on cloths his whole life. He's been a deer guy his entire life. It's the hard part about this, I'm trying something new, is that we don't know how stuff works. Well, it's the next morning. Um, we're not cutting wheat anytime soon. So we got a little over an inch of rain here but we got two inches over where the combine and the tractor are so no cutting wheat for a little while again got one of my sunflowers blooming at the house anyway i feel really bad because brad our cloth guy drove so far and so long to deliver a replacement header to let us borrow for a couple days while we wait for the parts for that one and it's kind of seeming like we didn't even we don't even need that one now because i don't know how long it's going to take to dry that up but we're in a weird position now just feels so bad well y'all there you have it uh, apparently this is a very common thing that happens with draper heads so no need to fear also zach and blake want to say really really big thanks to agri center really big shout out to them because it all happened so fast they called them up immediately after it happened 7 p.m on a saturday mind you and they immediately got on it and were ready to hop in the pickup and drive all the way to us with a replacement for a couple of days to keep us running while they get the parts learning this is just how it goes y'all this is harvest you got breakdowns you got big storms the rain 
radar didn't look like anything was gonna hit us and late at night it definitely did so in the next vlog you're gonna see this all hopefully fixed and no issues with that i will of course always be the first to know if there is any issues how's everybody else's harvest going are you guys done are you in the middle of it are you like us and keep getting storms for all my city friends are you guys learning as much as i do because i swear these harvest vlogs just something comes up every single time and i learn something every day i appreciate all y'all's support in the comments Got some exciting news so stick around for that and thank you i appreciate all y'all that subscribe and like and comment i'm sure i'll have a whole mess of things to tell you in the next one i'll let you go and shut up okay love you bye